Welcome to Dr. Chester Rants, and I'm having an allergy of epic proportions. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I'm supposed to rant about this, and I'm ranting about this. From the Daily, Daily Wire, LGBT websites now say sexual preference is an offensive term. They were fine with it last month. Ah, the news speak. News speak. They have a certain way with the words, don't they? One day it's fine, but the wrong person says a certain word, and suddenly that word is evil. Isn't that absurd? Well, in my book, I consider that to be extremely absurd. Let's take a peek. Amy Judge A. a after Judge Amy Coney Barrett used the phrase sexual preference during, during her Supreme Court confirmation hearings, Democrats rushed to condemn the term and claim it was outdated and offensive. Yes, sure, go on ahead. Words sometimes change meanings from time to time, like the word gay used to be happy and now uh, it means someone who takes up their bunghole, but... Uh, but the words to change from one day to another in less than 24 hours? That's unheard of. In fact, it's so goddamn fucking unheard of that I think this is the first time that I actually see something like this this fast. From them from being okay in one moment, and then suddenly everybody else who is against Trump or has some TDS or something. It changes from overnight and one minute to the other, it becomes a problematic. That's how bad it become. It has become. That's... Ah, I must control myself. Alphabet websites jumped on the phrase as well, when as recently as last month they didn't seem to have an issue with the term. On September 25th, one of the leading Alphabet Publications, The Advocate, published an interview with the cast from Julie and the Phantoms, in which the filmmaker Kenny Ortega, who directs the show and is openly gay, uses the term. To come from a history to be able to, now, as a director, be telling these stories that aren't even about coming out, that are about young people who are just comfortable with who they are, no matter what their the -da 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 -da. sexual preferences is, it's just glorious and so satisfying, Ortega said in an interview. What sort of retarded bullshit is this? Nowhere in the article does, it, does anyone claim sexual preference is an offensive term, yet below the article are links to recent stories from the same publication, including a recent story claiming Barrett was blasted for using anti-alphabet term sexual preference. Are you shitting me? Are you fucking shitting? Oh, 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 I boomerized it. I forgot to actually switch to the article. So, here it is, the article that I just read. Now moving back to what it was. Uh, sorry, sometimes I boomer myself. It happens. It happens. It, it, uh, what in the actual fuck is wrong with these people? I always ask these questions. I, and sometimes I, I wonder if it's just rhetorical, because somehow, I don't know, I don't think I'm expecting an answer to know what the fuck is wrong with these people. I don't think there is an answer to this. I think they are just so absolutely fucking unhinged that they are capable of actually changing the definition of a word from one day to the other, without even going to the same process the other words went. This one is probably the record, uh, a record change from, what, a couple of hours being suddenly being a problematic. A bit hot. From being okay to problematic. What in the actual fuck? Jesus, here's what Barrett said when asked if she would be consistent to vote to roll back hard-fought freedoms and protections for the alphabet community. I do, I do want to be clear that I have never discriminated on the basis of sexual preference. I would never ever discriminate 
I would na oh sorry, I would not ever discriminate on the basis of sexual preference like racism. I think discrimination is abhorrent. Exactly, that's the perfect answer. But since the answer was perfect, they decided to find a problem uh, a problematic word, so they chose sexual preference. Ah, these people really. The advocate then claimed the term sexual preference was accepted accepted decades ago. Don't worry, it was accepted a couple of hours ago as you wrote this article, is now considered inaccurate and offensive by alphabet people because of its implications that people choose their sexual orientation or gender identity. Oh, fuck me, cell phone sideways. Logo TV, a channel geared towards the alphabet community, on September 20th uh, tw uh, tweeted out an article from alphabet website New Now Next with a qu quote from the article saying, Now I'm far more attracted uh, to men than women, but who's to say my sexual preference won't sway again? The channel made no claim that the phrase was offensive at that time. It never was. It just became offensive in a matter of hours because somebody they don't like said the words. How the hingeness of these people leads mind-boggling. More evidence of the absolute shit show that these people suffer from. Uh, you know, kind of, I mean, kind of, kind of anti-alphabet track record. Feinstein asks Barrett if she agrees with Scarlett's criticism of the same-sex marriage ruling. Barrett says she won't express her views. She then notes she would not discriminate based on sexual preference. An offensive term that suggests sexuality is a toy, which is not... Jesus Christ. In addition to the advocate on Logo TV British Alphabet website, Pink News also had no issue with the term in April 2019, when the outlet used a quote from a 20-year-old who told the Associated Press, Kissing someone is no crime, all I want is therefore to be less divisions in, in this society, and no discrimination against people over their sexual preferences. <coughs> Sorry, my allergies, like I warned at the beginning of this video. Pink News did not, at the time, claim sexual preference was an offensive or outdated term. Uh, Wednesday, the phrase sexual became offensive overnight. Exa Dude, not even overnight. That was just a couple of hours after she said it. Or the many Democrats now attacking Barrett for the phrase have used it themselves in recent years, despite claiming it, to be, it has been offensive for decades. Yeah, now they are rewriting, rewriting history. They are rewriting everything they can to fit their narrative. They are absolutely goddamn fucking idiots, hypocrites, and unhinged lunatics. That's what it is with these people. Senator Maisie Hirono claims on Tuesday that it was an offensive and outdated term, yet she used it herself in 2017. Democratic presidential candidate Joe Biden also used the phrase in May. Liberal icon Ruth Bader Ginsburg, whose death prompted Barrett's nomination to the Supreme Court, even used the phrase. The Washington Free Beacon put together a video of various Democrats using the phrase. What in the absolute goddamn fucking unhingedness of... Identity, polit identity politics. I absolutely fucking hate that shit. I absolutely 100% hate identity politics. And this is the reason, one of the one of the many reasons why I hate it. They see the absolute 100% need to actually change the definition of words just because somebody said it, that they, somebody that don't agree with said it. Imagine in the world, in the future, yeah, somebody, let's assume Trump, says some innocuous word that was common use and is common use today, and it's not considered offensive and completely and utterly innocent. And what happens? Da, 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 da. It's offensive overnight. What in the actual Fuck is absolutely wrong with these idiots. I give up. I seriously give up. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to see. Uh,
to like, share and subscribe. See you on my next video. Good night.